Welcome back to C++ 23 and treatments. Today we'll be focused on C++ 23 arrays. An array is used to store multiple values in a single variable instead of declaring separate variables for each value. There are three types of arrays, one-dimensional arrays, two-dimensional arrays, and multi-dimensional arrays like 3D and more. So a one-dimensional array is a list of elements given a name. Here we have the denom main num, uh, given a f in short four, that's four values in the elements section here. Or we have double, which is a D norm, given two values, uh, 0.5 or 1.5. And then these are the standard arrays here. So a two dimensional array is a table of elements given a name. So here we have array 2D, we have two rows and three columns to fit in these elements for 1, 2, 6. So multi-dimensional arrays uh, are covered by 3D arrays. So a 3D array is a collection of 2D arrays given a name. Um, usually three rows by three columns and then the size of the elements. And a four dimensional array is an array of 3D given a name. So one-dimensional arrays are easy to figure out. Here's a double with scores, so five elements, 0.5 all the way up to 4.5. 2D arrays are down here table of two rows and three columns, three columns and three rows and three, rows and three columns and space at the end here for the elements and um, <coughs> for the array is four rows, three columns, uh, space for the elements and the elements of the elements. Okay, so we're going to test the arrays. So here we're passing an array to now we're looking for what's in row 1, column 1. So up here, that's what we declared, row 2. So this is row uh, 0, this is row 1, and then this is column 1, which is row 5 there, and that's the upper 5. Next, let's test the 3D array. So we're columned up here, it's 3 rows, 3 columns, and um, in space for the elements table. So down here, we're calling, we're looking at row 2, column 0, and M1. So go row zero, one, so row two, so row two, column zero, sat there, and then element, so it's at zero, one, so it's eight up here, and it's eight down there. The next one down, it's the same thing except two across. Since it's not written down here, it's F but zero. And anything bigger than an array, a 3D array, is going to have undefined behavior. We're going outside the array, and it puts this weird number down here. 